It's been two days now since his self-described shellacking, and the president is still contrite. Today, he invited Democratic and Republican leaders to the White House for a meeting later this month and said he hopes they'll stay for dinner. I want us to talk substantively uh, about how we can move uh, the American people's agenda forward. Uh, it's not just going to be a photo op. But Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell was less conciliatory. If the administration wants cooperation, it will have to begin to move in our direction. In a speech today, McConnell said his top priority is to repeal the president's signature achievement, the health care reform bill. We can and should propose and vote on straight repeal repeatedly. But we can't expect the president to sign it. So we'll also have to work in the House <clears throat> on denying funds for implementation. That strategy was embraced by Eric Cantor of Virginia, who is expected to be second in command of the new House majority. In a 22-page document outlining his agenda, Cantor also calls for more investigations into the administration, with, quote, one major oversight hearing each week. That worries Democrats, who remember what happened the last time Republicans controlled the House during a Democratic presidency. The president also denied having sexual relations. A barrage of damaging probes, one of which ended in impeachment hearings. Congressman Darrell Issa of California will chair the powerful House Oversight Committee. Democrats have said that you're going to start a witch hunt against the president if Republicans take control. Certainly, there are a lot of things that every administration would like to not have looked at. In our case, what we have to look at is the growth of government and the waste in government. And that's what we're going to do. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is talking to Democrats to try to figure out her next move, but already one Democrat has said she should step down from leadership, and another has said he might run against her. Katie? Nancy Curtis on Capitol Hill tonight. Nancy, thank you.